It's Umsum time! What if mobile chargers disappeared? No problem. My battery lasts forever. Oh, Umsum. <laughs> to buy Umsum merchandise, visit Umsum.com. <laughs> Firstly, if mobile chargers disappear, huh? people who bought a new mobile would be extremely mm. disappointed. Hmm. Secondly, if mobile chargers huh? disappeared, people may go back to using the age-old landline <laughs> telephones. Mm. Thirdly, if mobile chargers disappeared, solar-powered batteries might come to the rescue. Mm. Fourthly, if mobile chargers huh? disappeared, people may start queuing up outside mobile shops <laughs> in order to return their mobile phones. Hmm. Lastly, if mobile chargers disappeared, the person who invents a battery which requires no charging could become extremely rich. Mm. What if mobile covers disappeared? Oh no, I just bought a new one! Oh, I'm <laughs> some. Firstly, if mobile covers disappeared, people who love to change their mobile covers every month would be one sad lot. Huh? Mm. Secondly, if mobile covers disappeared, chances of mobile huh? phones getting damaged might increase by a lot. Mm. Thirdly, if mobile covers disappeared, owners of fancy, expensive <laughs> mobile covers would be extremely disappointed. Mm. Fourthly, if mobile covers disappeared, some people may start dusting their mobiles every few minutes. Mm. Lastly, if mobile covers disappeared, manufacturers of mobile <laughs> covers may have to shut their shops. Mm. What if mobile towers disappeared? Oh no! Now how will my fans watch my videos? Oh, I'm some. Firstly, if mobile towers disappear, huh? uh -huh. people may go back to using the age-old landline telephones. Mm. Secondly, if mobile towers disappeared, people who are used to seeing notifications all day long would be one sad lot. Mm. Thirdly, if mobile towers disappeared, instant communication <laughs> would also disappear. Huh? Letter writing may make a comeback. <laughs> mm. Fourthly, if mobile towers disappeared, virtual meetings would also disappear. In-person meetings would make a comeback. Hmm. Lastly, if mobile towers disappeared, stocks of telecom companies may completely crash. Hmm. What if all mobiles disappeared? Huh? Don't worry. I will give loudspeakers to everybody. Oh, um some. Firstly, there are more than 5 billion mobile phone users in the world. Mm. If mobiles disappeared, huh? there will be complete chaos all around. Secondly, a mobile allows us to easily get in touch with our family or any other person on the planet. If mobiles disappeared, huh? communication would prove to be a huge challenge. Thirdly, people use mobiles for a number of things, like playing games, instant messaging, reading news, and so on. Mm. If mobiles disappeared, huh? people will have a lot of free time on their hands. Mm. Fourthly, if mobiles disappeared, taking a selfie is something people will miss dearly. Mm. Lastly, many people use their mobiles for hours without a break. If mobiles disappear, huh? the feeling of loneliness might kick in. Mm. On the flip side, if mobiles disappeared, people might perform more outdoor activities. Mm. What if there was no electricity? Then I will electrify everything using my electric dance. Oh, um, some. Firstly, no TVs, mobiles, ACs, refrigerators. Life as we know it will be turned upside down. Mm. Secondly, the world has grown closer due to electronic communication such as emails, voice calls, messengers, etc. With no electricity, communication with far-off people will become a far-off dream. Thirdly, with no electricity, huh? nights will become dark again. The good old candle might make a comeback. Fourthly, with no electricity, all modern cars will be rendered useless. Steam engines might make a comeback people will start riding horses again. Lastly, with no electricity, computers will stop operating. 
world will go back to the good old ways of using books to keep records. Mm. On the flip side, with no electricity, pollution levels all around the world will reduce drastically. Mm. What if all cars were electric? Why only cars? Even I look electric. <laughs> oh, um some. There will be a number of advantages as electric cars are considered to be much huh? more environmentally friendly. Mm. Firstly, air pollution would greatly reduce as it is estimated that road transportation is responsible for more than 50% of nitrogen oxides and carbon monoxide emissions. Secondly, huh? our respiratory tract would be a much happier ah. place as road transportation is responsible for more than 40% of particulate matter emissions. Thirdly, mortality rate will reduce as WHO estimates that outdoor air pollution is responsible for more than 4.2 million deaths yearly. There would be some relatively minor disadvantages though. Firstly, car ownership would get expensive as electric cars are expensive as compared to fossil fuel cars. Heavy reliance on rare earth elements as well as lithium and cobalt for battery production. Thus, we might face a different kind of environmental challenges. Mm. Hmm. Huh? <laughs> Topic: Nuclear fusion. Huh? Why is nuclear fusion not used huh? to generate electricity? Mm. You really want to know the answer to this, right? <laughs> but wait. Before answering the question, hmm. let us understand what is meant by nuclear fusion. Huh? When two huh? lighter nuclei combine to no. form a heavy huh? nucleus, a large amount of energy huh? is released. Huh? This process is hmm? called nuclear fusion. Oh. Hmm? Where does this nuclear fusion take place? You think huh? that it takes place in a laboratory? <laughs> <laughs> no. Hmm. You are absolutely hmm? wrong. Huh? Nuclear huh? fusion takes place in the sun. The nuclei of two hydrogen huh? atoms join together to form a heavy nucleus of helium with the release of a large amount of energy. How do you think this energy reaches us? Ah. <laughs> nah, it does huh? not reach us through power oh. lines. Wait, I will tell mm. you. The energy huh? released after nuclear fusion reaches us in the form of sunlight, ultraviolet radiations, heat, etc. Oh. Huh? Hey, but we're already producing electricity oh. with the help of nuclear fission. So huh? why do we require mm. nuclear fusion? For this, oh. you need to first understand the difference huh? between nuclear fusion oh. and nuclear fission. <laughs> As we already know, nuclear oh. fusion is the fusion of two lighter nuclei with the release of a huh? large amount of energy. The exact oh. opposite process happens in nuclear fission. Here, huh? a heavier nucleus splits into two lighter nuclei releasing a large amount of energy. Uh -huh. This process of fission is used in nuclear power plants, where a heavy nucleus of uranium is split into lighter nuclei. The energy that is released in this is used to generate electricity. Oh. However, there is a major disadvantage of huh? nuclear fission. Oh. Wondering what it is? Mm. The major disadvantage uh -huh. is that uranium is a radioactive element. Oh. When uranium undergoes oh. fission, it generates radioactive uh -huh. waste along with energy. This radioactive waste is very harmful for most life forms and the environment. Hence, huh? we need to find oh. a clean and safe source of energy to hmm? generate electricity. Huh? What source oh. would that be? Hmm? Would it be nuclear fusion? <laughs> Bingo, Hooray! you are right. Huh? Then huh? why are we not harnessing hmm? the energy of nuclear fusion to produce hmm. electricity? This huh? is because for nuclear fusion, oh. two conditions are required. Oh! They huh? are high pressure and high temperature. Only when these huh? conditions are met oh. can the two nuclei travel at very high speeds, huh? resulting in collision. Mm. Huh? 
On huh? Earth, huh? it is extremely difficult to create such high pressure huh? and temperature. <laughs> Even if we are somehow able to create these conditions, huh? the question is, how will we control them? Oh. As there are many questions huh? unanswered and unsolved, hmm? we have not yet hmm. succeeded huh? in using nuclear fusion in the production of hmm. electricity. Hmm?